These are the best settings to use in CSGO in 2022. Firstly, we're gonna go over to our video settings. You can play on pretty much any res, but I'd suggest that you stick to either native 16x9 on 1920 by 1080 or if you're going to play on stretch, play on something, you know, 1280, 960, 1024 by 768. But for me, the sweet spot's 1280 by 960. You mess around with brightness, it doesn't really matter. Make sure this on computer monitor for color mode. Obviously, you want full screen, disable laptop power savings. And for these settings, uh, I find that this is the best for me uh, on a lower end PC for when I need to get over 240 FPS to even uh, for it to matter for my monitor, which is a 240 hertz monitor. I use high global shadow quality, low, enabled, low, low, enabled, enabled. I use 8x MSAA. Some pros, you know, have none for the SAF4. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Uh, you can mess around with these settings, but for the most part, you want to keep it how I have it here. Uh, moving on to audio. Again, this is kind of up to your own setup, but for me, pretty standard. You always want it on stereo headphones, though. That's one thing you want to make sure you have. The rest of this, I pretty much keep it on zero because it's not an, uh, an advantage to have it in-game. You definitely want to have your 10-second warning on, though, because that will help you win rounds. The rest of it, though, you pretty much want to have it to a minimum. If you're taking the game seriously. Heading over to game settings, you want to have uh, game instructor instructor messages off if you're a serious player. Um, everything else is kind of preference. It doesn't matter too much. Uh, yeah, everything else here is just preference. It doesn't matter. When for these items though, you want to make sure that you have switch weapon on pickup. No, you want to have that off. That is the biggest mistake I see new players making. Have this off. Make sure you have uh delay. Yeah, do not have the delay sniper rifle on, on scum. Do not put that on. The rest of it's just preference. It doesn't really matter. And then yeah, I guess uh here's my here's my crosshair code. If you guys are curious about it, you can pause the video and type that in if you want. I guess. But yeah, again, that's just preference as well. Let's go over to key bindings now. Uh, again, just preference. I made a video on sensitivity on my channel. You can check that out. But uh, pretty much you want to have this stuff pretty standardized. Don't have a crazy zoom sensitivity. It's not going to help you out. Raw input, have that on. Mouse Excel, again, preference. But I would recommend you do not turn this on at all. It's just going to make you inconsistent. Now for these. These are totally your your own preference. But let's go through my key bindings. Uh, which have gotten me pretty far in this game. WASD standard. For walk, I actually use cap locks. That is something I use that no one else really uses as far as I know. Uh, it says I jump with space, but really I have it bound to space and mouse wheel, and I usually just jump with mouse wheel. Duck, I have it as shift. Again, very strange. Most people don't have that. Use E. Mouse 1, mouse 2, standard stuff. Standard stuff here. I yes I have that I don't use it though I have I just use my bindings I drop with G inspect with F and take a look at the rest of these here I'm not gonna bother you guys too much these are all just standard stuff explosive with all all right and then for my smoke I actually use it on one of the keys on my mouse which mouse five and then my Molly I have it as mouse four which is a little interesting I graffiti with H not too important scoreboard standard and with my console I actually use uh. The slash button, which is a little, a little different. I use mic, doesn't matter. We don't use it in the professional scene, but I have it bound to T, and these are the rest. But yeah, make sure with your bindings, it doesn't really matter, but make sure you're using binds for your nades instead of just scrolling uh, for your guns and nades. You need to be using buttons. It's going to make you look like less of a noob, and you're going to play a lot better. It's going to be hard at first, but it's something you need to do, as well as using mouse wheel the jump instead of space those two things you have to do in order to be a pro in the scene hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and comment for more stuff like this thank you guys so much